Hello and welcome back, Emily Jean if you're new here and today I'm going to review Dial A for aunties. So if you want to hang out this will be spoiler free. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, and let's get cozy. <music> for aunties this was so good it was such a fun read if you are looking for a book that's going to make you genuinely laugh this might be one to check out if you haven't heard of dial a for aunties our main character is medi or medellin chan and her aunties so through a series of unfortunate events medi's mom basically catfishes this guy pretends to be medi online sets her up on a date Medi goes on the date, the guy's kind of a creep, she ends up tasing him while they're driving in a car, and he dies. Instead of calling the police, she drives back home, she gets her aunties involved, and it's this whole series of everything that could go wrong and trying to figure out what to do with the body and what's going to happen in this situation. We spend the whole book figuring out how the heck are they going to get out of this. <laughs> There's a lot of twists and turns along the way. There's a little bit of romance, which I was not expecting at all. But my overall feelings of the book was that I loved it. I was not expecting to laugh as much as I laughed. Actually laugh out loud. It's been a long time since I've done that as much as I've done that in this book where I just laughed out loud over and over <laughs> at the uncanny things that were happening. I thought the characters were really well written, really genuine. The, the laughter humor didn't feel forced at all. It definitely caught you off guard when it came up. Um, I loved the family, the family element. You could tell how tight they were. You could tell like the genuine like push and pull family elements that presented themselves. The setting was really neat too. So they end up on an island at a resort for a wedding and I really liked that setting. One of my goals for this year was actually to read more books that make me laugh out loud. I have it on my um, goals for this year to reread some of my Christopher Moore mo books, which really make me laugh out loud when I read those originally. And I hadn't even sat down to like research more humor books, but I found myself coming across them naturally. And this was one of them. The other one that I picked up that I just started reading is Finlay Donovan is killing it which is supposed to be like sort of same vibe like humorous murder mystery <laughs> so i'm really glad um that i did finally pick this one up for Caw Pile, it ended up getting four stars. I gave it nine for characters the characters are so well written jesse Sutanto, she has a little blurb in the beginning about her family, um, kind of the accents and being trilingual and what that, how that impacts the way that you speak your non-native languages. And I think she was very, she was very mindful of like the line between stereotypes and authenticity. And I think she walked that line really well and it came off really authentic in the characters. Even the side characters we got to know really well and a bit of like their backstory. So that was really nice. Atmosphere, I gave an eight. Again, being on the island for the wedding was really cool. The writing was an eight, really well written, easy to read. A plot, I gave it an eight as well. Intrigue, eight. Logic six, there were a couple things that definitely did not make logical sense. Like why would she not have just called the cops after the car crash? Uh, they totally would understand why she tased him. And there were a couple other things that I'm like, eh. <laughs> So logic was a six, enjoyment was a nine. Enjoyed this from start to finish, so good. That rounded out to an eight, and then that made it a four star read. So a couple of um, cons for the book. I may have been watching way too much true crime. I watch a lot of true crime YouTubers. I love Kendall Ray. I love Stephanie, um, Coffee and Crime with Stephanie, what's her last name? Bailey Sarian, you know, all the biggies. I love watching true crime. And I think that may have impacted my ability to read funny murder mysteries a little bit. I definitely had to suspend disbelief around the whole idea of them carrying around a dead body and not that seeming like really morbid and thinking about it being a real person rather than a fictional character because if I were to read or listen to a true crime story about that really happening I'd be like 
mortified, you know? <laughs> so to read it in a fiction book with a little bit of humor, I did definitely have to suspend disbelief in order to enjoy it. That was really my only con with this. Pros, character development, there are flashbacks into the past and backstory at just the right moments, revealing in just the right ways. I thought the family connection was really well, well written. Um, the romance was super believable. This is not heavy in the romance department. There's just enough touches of it. And then humor, 10 out of 10. Like, so well done. I would recommend this book for you if you love the everything goes wrong trope because there's definitely like twist after twist after twist of things going wrong and now having to find out a new piece of the puzzle. If you're looking for just like a fun family mystery sort of detective feel and if you're looking for a lighthearted read. I've been reading some pretty intense science fictions that like were messing with my brain so I knew I just wanted to pick up one that was going to be a quick fun read and this definitely delivered. Um, a tip as you're reading though is don't expect to laugh. I definitely, I had heard that it was a funny book but I didn't go in expecting to laugh a ton so I was really pleasantly surprised. I went in looking for a lighthearted, enjoyable read and so the times I laughed really did cough me off guard and they were super genuine so I would go in like knowing it's probably going to be funny but not expecting to laugh a lot and if you do that will just be icing on the cake it was really enjoyable and then I wanted to mention a couple of Goodreads reviews so I did want to mention this one star review because this is what I was trying to talk about as far as like having to suspend disbelief around like the actual crime matter of it uh so could Katayun Masudi rated it one star and this person said DNF so not for me I really disliked it and could go no farther than chapter 8 and even then because I thought that it's going to be better accidental murder and then covering it up really doesn't work for me as cute and fun <laughs> yeah yeah what do you think about like the reality of the situation happening it's not cute and fun but in the fiction book it worked for me and I can totally understand why it might not work for some people. And then another Emily rated it five stars and she said, genuinely funny and completely charming in every way. I loved, loved, loved this one. I could not agree more. Charming is a really good word and genuine. It did feel so genuine. None of the characters felt forced. Um, I felt like I was falling around Medi and her aunties for the weekend and it was really fun. So. That's my review of Dial A for Aunties. Let me know in the comments if you checked it out. Let me know if you know of any other humor books that you absolutely love because I'm definitely on the hunt for those. Thank you so much for hanging out and hopefully I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye guys!